Hello to everyone. Today in this video, we'll see how you can create an online appointment schedule on Google Calendar. Say for example, if you are a physician and you have patients and now if you want to create an online appointment schedule so that, so that they can book some appointment uh, to visit your hospital. Okay. Or if you have a business, you can create an online schedule available for your customers, whatever it may be. I'll tell you within five minutes a clear and very easy understandable tutorial. Okay. See today. This is on today. I'll take a fresh week as this is too clumsy this week. See on Monday to Friday. I'll create an online appointment schedule. See from Monday 9 a.m. I'm going to create appointment schedule and in the description also I will leave my email ID so that if you have any queries you can ask through the email. So see how at Monday at 9 a.m. If I tap on here, uh, there will be a pop up here to create event task or appointment schedule. So in this tutorial, we'll concentrating on appointment schedule. See here Monday, October 14, 9 30 to 10 30. If you want to change the timings here, you can change it from 9 to 10. The default time for a particular appointment is one hour. Actually, you can change it. You can change it to two hours. That is absolutely your choice, but for time being, I am just making it to one hour, one hour schedule and click on the setup schedule. And don't worry, you can change your appointment duration here also to whichever uh, preferred time you can change. You can increase it to two hours also, but you need to change it here. See here when I click on uh, this one, see on the calendar this blue indicated line indicates that this particular time i am available to my customers or my to my patients and the first thing you need to do is you need to give a name for this you can uh, keep whatever the name you want outpatient c assume that you are creating appointment table for a physician or a doctor on whatever it may be okay appointment duration is one hour and this is on Monday. If you want to uh, keep something like from 9 to 12, maybe you're available for 12 to 1 o'clock. That may be a lunch time. So I'll generate a period something like that. See here from 10 a.m. to yeah, see here from 12 uh, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. I'm available. So as soon as I keep this time schedule, the appointments on this slot from 9 to 10 is created. See, I can create one schedule on Monday and I can copy it to all the days and whichever date I want a specific timetable so I can change it. I'll show you how you can do that. So I'll click on this plus symbol again. See from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. I'm again available. See here. Okay. So there is one hour gap. This during this one hour gap, I am not available. That may be a lunch time or something like that. Okay. In this way, you can create. So do you want to create the same throughout these days? Yes, you can do that by simply clicking on this plus symbol and click on this copy time to all on Monday. OK, when you click on this timetable, when you click on copy to all. So this will appear on the Tuesday as it is same Wednesday. Just click on this plus symbol once and click on the Monday's timetable. So which on which date if you click on copy to all the same day will get copies to that particular date on yeah on Tuesday also I'll do the same but on Tuesday 11 to 12 a.m. also I am not available so what I'll do is I'll just make a slight difference here on see here I'll just click on this remove unavailable and I click on remove unavailable I'll click on this plus symbol and from 10 to 11, I'm available from 10 to 11. I will be available, but on directly from 2 p.m. To 5 p.m. Again, I will be available. So there is a slight difference on my Thursday schedule. See here. This is how I'm doing this. Yeah, see here up to Monday to Friday. I have completed the total week schedule. If at all, if you want it on Saturday, you can click on this plus symbol so that you can adjust the Saturday also. 
but for this tutorial i am not going to touch on saturday we'll quickly go into the next step which is scheduling window so this week schedule is fine but when i go to the next week also for the next year also the time schedule is this one only so this is because i have kept something like he see here repeat this schedule weekly this appointment schedule should be repeated weekly this option i choose that's the reason even if i go to the next year also the same schedule is continuing so so here comes the scheduling window this starts on october 13th it's fine but when this should end means this week schedule maybe it should end by next month means i don't want this to be happen every month or every year so i'll just check on this one like it should end by this schedule i only want up to december this week the first week so when i click on done now what it does means when i go to the jan see this week schedule appointment schedule is not for the next year it is just limited up to this year up to december the first week okay this is how you can limit this particular time schedule for a particular point of time i kept it for like uh, two to three months okay next next okay uh, coming to the adjusted availability for example say uh on october 28th monday you won't be available for example there is a meeting for me to attend out of station so on monday 28th of this month i am not available so so i need to adjust this date this is where adjusted availability is useful so i'll just head over to 28th of this month okay okay here i'll just click on unavailable on this particular day but uh, unavailable all the day so the appointments on this day completely will be removed so in this way this adjusted availability is useful you need to use all these options in order to make a successful uh, appointment schedule okay next book appointments okay maximum four per day or you can increase or decrease this number okay uh, yeah next calendars for example if there are another events at this particular point of time so that particular uh, time schedule won't be available to your online customers for example on your calendar uh, there is a event on this particular day on this particular time slot this line time slot will be not available for the uh, customers so this point of time no one can book your appointment uh, that will uh, you'll know this practically if you have a uh, collision events at the same time at the same date okay next uh, booking page and photo when you share this appointment schedule to the users this is what your profile picture and this is what your name look like this will be drawn from your google profile picture if at all if you want to change this you can change here so that it reflects here but remember if you change your gmail profile picture wherever you use your name and gmail profile picture everywhere it gets changed so location and conference this is important all your appointments is the physical appointments or Uh, this online google meet video conference whatever it may be if it is in person you need to give your uh, map location if required for example uh, you can search something like on the maps it will give so that this particular area this once you book your uh, appointment will reach you at this place if it is on uh, google meet video you can choose this option so that the other person will get a google meet link in the email so if it is phone number you can click on the phone number the person making the appointment will provide the phone number okay whatever it may be you can choose the meeting type here you can write the description about your i am available yeah see here description i just write it as a example so you can write more professional way to your online uh, patients or the customers or whomever it may be you can write some Uh, professional uh, description here and booking form while the other person uh, wants to book 
online appointment what are the requirement fields first name last name email address or if you want their phone number also you can include the phone number or if at all if you want any custom means if you want to write like address of the patient or something like that you can include so these five fields will be shown to the other customer i'll what i'll do is i'll click on the save yeah you will get a share link what i'll do is i'll click on the share i'll click on this copy link for example this is the link for your uh, created google calendar appointment schedule i'll open another tab now just feel like this particular uh, email is another email for example if you mail this person this particular link through whatsapp or you, you have kept this on your website or app if other person reach to this or browse through this particular google created appointment schedule link the other person will see something like select an appointment time so on october 15th i'll select see these are the available slots for the customers or the patients so for example if the other person books like uh, yeah 1 pm so these are the required fields for the other person to fill and phone number is optional address is optional and if they click on book here see you will get an email that so and so person has booked your appointment i'll show you that email also see here this is the appointment what i have just received see on october 15th uh, the name so and so has booked this appointment uh, yes if you are accepting so if i click on yes i have accepted that particular online appointment so this is how you can make use of google calendar appointment schedule if you have any doubts please do ask in the comments or check in the description there is a email you can reach out uh, in that way also i hope you like this tutorial and thanks for watching have a nice day